You want to buy a Gucci hat, but you don't want to pay retail. You just found an online steal. Now the big question comes up, is it real? In this episode, we find out. Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone to a new real versus fake video if you haven't seen already i do have babe chrome hearts stone island a few videos that i do want to cover in this case gucci has been on my list i did have the hats and it took me this long to even make one okay if you do need personal legit checks i do them five dollars via paypal through my instagram at fresh and flea hit me up and we'll get it started and before we get into it i do have to mention you could like comment down below and consider subscribing to the channel if you're enjoying these videos now what is it about this iconic monogram double g print that has a lot of people going crazy for it wouldn't be a fresh and free video if i didn't cover a little bit of the history let's get into it breve storia florence italy guccio gucci left home at 17 years old worked his own way through the hotels from paris all the way to london this is where he accumulated design style a lot of jet setters that he saw he took in everything he could he returned to florence in 1921 and he founded gucci considering it is 2022 it is 101 years to the date his original logo design was pretty much a strong big g and this jumps years later in 1933 when his son aldo was actually brought into the family business this is where the design of the interlocking G's comes in and it's considered all those logo the serif font the large G's interlocking gomekatene pretty much like chains and this jumps into 1953 when sadly Guccio Gucci passes away and leaves everything pretty much to Aldo Gucci and his brothers it trickles down into the 60s and this is where the speed of the popularity of Gucci really took place you had a lot of famous people a lot of people that influenced Jackie Kennedy Grace Kelly among others to rock Gucci and really love that monogram print that we know today and the rest is history. Ma, I hope everybody didn't get scared away about the history. So the Essel, onto it. Now we're gonna get pretty much what to look for online pictures. This is what I always go for because a lot of people do online shopping. If you're gonna buy it, pay up for quality, pay up for authentic, don't get scammed online. Let's get into the first thing to look for. So straight off, you're gonna look for that monogram print. Not the build materials, not anything else because you're looking at pictures. What you really wanna see is that monogram actually lining up within the cut because it is everything in quality of Gucci. The reps will be very messy. Second, you're looking at side patch here, the green enclosing through the red. That is something to look for, but a lot of the replicas have got that down, which I'm surprised to say, because before you can find a lot of fakes out there that are very old, very low quality, and they look horrible. But that is something that you will wanna look for, but it's not always important because sometimes the reps got it. Now, third is gonna be a big one, the Velcro strap back in full leather. This is what you wanna see. I'll be showing some up close pictures because it is a leather strap. A lot of the reps out there have the Gucci logo here, Lost. And that's not what you want to see. You want to see it on the inside. So I'm going to flip that over and this is where you want to see it. You're looking for the Gucci made in Italy as well as a serial number. A lot of the reps out there just don't get this right, but some of them do and the build material are going to be trash. It's going to be horrible. As time goes on, reps will get more quality. This is where you really want to check because the reps in pictures are getting so good. So you're looking for quality. You're not looking for smudginess. You're not looking for messiness. You're looking for the stitch quality as well as the quality. Awesome. And fourth, aparte questo, guarda tag. Look at the tag. The tag is going to tell you everything. In this case, I got both because everything else is pretty much on point of what I just talked about. But you're going to look at two different tags. Now, this is the older model. Older model tag is going to look like this. A lot of the reps are going to look like that. And that's gonna kind of be a dead giveaway a lot of the reps don't make it as good they just didn't low quality high quality of these tags were very horrible because of the year that they came out but this is going to be the updated tag and what to look for so this patch this patch is going to be everything in the way that those red threads are actually patched on check it out you're going to see the contrasting differences you're going to see the low quality of a lot of the fakes out there and nothing has actually came close yet to meeting the standard of gucci quality that around on the other side and you actually see the black tag now the black tag will not always be just a dead giveaway oh that's real there's actually a white tag there's a black tag and I'm pretty much going off of these monogram hats, but a lot of different styles actually have the same inside tags. In this case, my tag is actually getting worn away from being worn. That's the sad part. So not always can you look at the print and be like, is that real or not? You can't. 
look at everything else though. Not only that, you look at where the stitching is. On the real tags, you'll see that the stitching lays within the sides of the tag into the sweatband. A lot of the replicas out there, because they are crudely done and massively produced, that you'll see that the stitch, see that the stitch patterns are horrible as well as where they are placed in contrasting difference to the real. All I gotta say is with everything else, just like any real versus fake I do, not only this, from vape to streetwear to anything else, there are a lot of fakes out there because popularity pushes the realm. It really does. All the time, there is something new coming out. New reps, new this, new that. I've seen so many out there, but there are telltale differences, and you should know what to look for. If you don't want to be scammed online or not, please do your homework. I hope this helped anybody out there. Remember, I do personal legit checks, $5 via PayPal through my Instagram. Hit me up, at Fresh and Flea, and we'll get started. And with that, I'm just going to say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.